Introduction to Universal Design for Learning Universal Design for Learning, or UDL, is a design framework based on scientific insights into how humans learn. It's an intentional way of planning for teaching to improve learning that addresses the diverse needs of all learners. There are three learning networks that serve as the foundation of the Universal Design for Learning principles. They are A. Effective networks. Why people engage and persist in learning new ideas. B. Recognition networks. What we see, hear, and read, and how we categorize these ideas. And C. Strategic networks how learners organize and express ideas. When these networks are effectively activated, learning follows. The UDL principles align to these three learning networks. Multiple means of engagement aligns to the effective network, or the why of learning. How we feel about a learning challenge determines our motivation to begin then persist when the learning gets difficult. A learner's engagement can vary widely, depending on a variety of factors, including cultural considerations, personal connection to the topic, background knowledge, and learning interests and preferences. There is no one uniform type of engagement that works best for all learners in all situations. Providing multiple ways for learners to engage with the content is essential. Multiple means of representation aligns with the recognition network, or the what, of learning. It relates to how we consume and organize new information. As with engagement, all learners vary in the way they perceive and understand information. A learner's ability to understand new information depends on factors such as their language and cultural background, their preference for text or video, their ability to transfer old learning to new situations, or simply their ability to see or hear the content. Because there is variability among learners, there is no one way of representing information that will work best for all learners in all situations. Providing multiple ways for learners to understand the content is essential. Multiple means of action and expression aligns to the strategic network, or the how of learning. It relates to how learners interact with the learning environment and organize, plan, and demonstrate their learning. Not surprisingly, learners vary in how they best communicate and execute learning. Some prefer to demonstrate their knowledge by taking tests, while others do better sharing their ideas in video or audio. Some do best when they are provided with structure and organization, while others prefer to be more self-directed. Because there is variability among learners, there is no one way of structuring learning or expressing knowledge that will work best for all learners in all situations. Providing multiple ways for learners to act and show what they know is essential. The UDL guidelines are a tool for use in the implementation of the Universal Design for Learning. They offer a blueprint for putting the UDL framework into practice. The guidelines are organized vertically according to the three principles, multiple means of engagement, multiple means of representation, and multiple means of action and expression. Each principle contains guidelines and checkpoints that offer more detailed information about the principle. The guidelines are also organized horizontally. The rows, from top to bottom, increase in complexity and the degree to which they empower learners. In the access row, the goal is to provide barrier-free learning opportunities. In the build row, teachers and learners work together to enhance learning opportunities. In the internalize row, learners are empowered to take charge of their learning. The culminating row in the table describes the attributes of an expert learner. These principles, guidelines, and checkpoints give educators a blueprint for putting UDL into practice. Becoming expert learners is the ultimate outcome for students when the UDL framework is applied. Expert learners are purposeful, motivated, 
resourceful, knowledgeable, strategic, and goal-directed. Universal Design for Learning provides educators with a framework for creating learning environments that encourage curiosity, passion, self-reflection, persistence, mastery, and growth. In short, UDL is key to helping students become the best learner they can be. Flexible design is a foundational component of UDL. Because learners have diverse strengths and needs, planning for success is required. Using the principles of design, educators can plan learning environments, methods, materials, and assessments that remove learning barriers and support the needs of diverse learners. Such intentional, flexible design ensures students reach their goal of becoming expert learners. Universal Design for Learning is based on research from the learning sciences, cognitive psychology, and neuroscience, supported by thousands of research articles. To learn more about the research underlying UDL, click on the link to CAST's UDL Guidelines 2.2. To access a specific research link, click on the corresponding checkpoint.